All right, Shalom, Shalom. It's for the Atazadak here of Israel. I'd like to start off by giving all honor and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahushai, Ba'ashem Kakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Today we're going to go into Genesis chapter 4, going into the Hebrew. It's so Lord willing, you're edified. Giving all honor and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahushai, Ba'ashem Kakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. <coughs> Let's get right into it. It's Genesis chapter 4, verse 1, right? And it reads, And the man knew to, uh, to Eve his wife, and she conceived and brought forth to Cain. And she said, I have possessed a man from the Lord. Waha Adam Yadai Ata Hawa Ashatwa Watahar Watalad Ata Kwayan Watha Amar Kwanyataya Ayash Ata Yahawa. Right? Because that, that word for Cain is Kwayan, means weapon. Right? It also means uh, um, uh, um, like um, Eve said, I have possessed a man from the Lord. Right? The word the har is the root is kara, meaning to conceive. Right? Genesis 4 and 2. And again, she. Um, and again she brought forth to his brother, to Abel, and it came to pass Abel was a shepherd of flocks, and Cain was a tiller of the earth. Watasap la ladath atha achiawa atha chabal wayahaya chabal raya tazaan wa kwayan haya ibad adama. Right? So let's look at that word, the sap, right? Because you have yasap, which means to add, then you have as asap, meaning together, right? But um, they're um, similar in definition. Genesis chapter 4 and verse 2. So that word is uh, Yasap, right? So that get Yasap to add. Syriac says a Wasap to add, to increase. To add anything, to do more, to be increased, right? Raya, it means neighbor, but it also means a shepherd, right? Herdsman, right? By definition. Chabal is what? Vapor, vanity, right? Like it says in the Proverbs, right? Genesis chapter 4 and verse 3. And it came to pass, right, the end of days, right? As in uh, um, the end of, of a certain day, right? Or in the end of their day, right? Because what? Um, Abel was a, uh, a keeper of sheep. Cain tilled the earth, so at the at the end of a particular day, right, in which uh, Abel kept his sheep, his flocks, at the end of uh, the days in which Cain was tilling the earth, right, and this shows you who Esau is, right, because you got to keep in mind, Esau was given the sword, right, just like Cain, 
right? So he had a particular uh, dominion, right? Or he was uh, pre uh, destined to have a particular dominion. Just like the serpent in the garden, right? Because Adam and his wife were cast out, right? What does the scripture say? That what? That all the earth, right, became of one language, right? Um, that's that's post post flood, right? So the wicked were always in the earth, right? Why did wickedness increase in the earth pre flood? Because a serpent brought beguiled what Eve, Adam, got him cast out. So what did he do? Right. Uh, uh, he was given a certain charge, right, to be the wicked, right. So in the garden, you had you had uh, uh, the serpent, right. So he had a particular uh, a particular dominion after Adam was cast down from his former uh, uh, glory, right. Just like Cain, he was brought forth, right, uh, uh, to preserve wickedness in the earth. Right, through the spiritual demon Satan, right? Hashatan, right? Satan means deceiver. Shatan means adversary, right? So nobody knows who particularly the devil is. Now the spiritual demon Satan, right? Which is an angel of the Lord, right? You have the angels on the left and on the right. right? You don't know we don't know who he is or if he ever came on the earth. Right, that's quite, that's highly questionable because there's no scriptures on that. But the point is that the spiritual demon, uh, when I say demon, right, uh, that uh, and I believe that's Greek that denotes intelligence, right? So really, like it says in the Book of Job, um, who you call the devil in the spirit world, which is a left hand angel. Right, he is uh, one of the sons of God, like it says in the book of Job, right? So the Lord controls everything, right? But there is an actual uh, 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 spirit, right? And spirits, right? That control Esau, right? On the left-hand side, and all those that work wickedness, right? Which are the angels of the Lord, right? So I'm not trying to confuse you, but point is... That what? The serpent, after Adam and his wife were cast out, right? He, he, he gained his, a particular, right, um, power. He, get, he gained a certain dominion, right? Which is why, right, before the flood, wickedness increased in the earth, right? And Cain, right, was uh, most likely a part of that, right? Because he was the wicked as well, right? So you see there is a pattern, right? As you're going to read later on in the chapter, the Lord said unto Cain, Thou doest well, wilt thou not be accepted? And if not, sin will have rule over you, right? So that's that's what happened in the garden. That's what happened with Cain, right? He slew his brother. This is what happened um, with Esau, Right? This is what happened in the Tower of Babel. The, the wicked were always there. Right? The righteous were there as well. Right? But it was not their time, right, to bring forth, right, a complete righteousness. Right? Because you had, uh, uh, darkness had to rule first. Right? When I say darkness, I speak about obscurity. Right? The scriptures say that America, Babylon, the graves, the valley of shadow of death, where, where uh, darkness is as light. Right? Just like Babel, Babel, which is, uh, um, the root is Balal, which means confusion, or to mingle, right? That's what Bab Babylon is, confusion. America, Babylon, great. Right? So this is what the serpent did, right? He gained a confederacy when Adam was cast out of the garden, right? Cain was a part of that when the uh, world increased in wickedness, right? So you always had a particular um, uh, representation of of uh, um, the left hand on the earth, 
right? You have you have what? The serpent, you have Cain, you have Esau, right? These are wicked spirits. The nations are wicked spirits. The trees of the garden, right? Wicked spirits. The nations, right? Wicked spirits. The Tower of Babel, the nations were there as well. Right? Which we're keep in mind. Pre flood, post flood. Pre flood, you have the trees in the garden, which were the nations, right? The sons of men. Tower of Babel, right? You had uh, uh, um, um, the, 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 the sons of men back, right, on planet Earth, right? You had the wicked always there which were the sons of men, the nations. You always had the wicked himself, which is a certain wicked seed, like we read in Genesis chapter 3, right? There will always be an enmity between those that represent righteousness in the earth and wickedness in the earth as well, right? Which are the sons of God, right? Uh, uh, representing righteousness, right? And the wicked... Right, representation. They represented the wickedness in the earth, where they were at the forefront of wickedness. Right, they were given certain power over the earth, like Cain, the tiller of the soil. Why? Because, right, like the serpent, he was given certain knowledge, right, certain insight, right, certain subtility, right. Um. So let's go to Ezekiel uh, chapter 31, right? So like, yeah. This is the book of Ezekiel chapter 31, verse 1. And it came to pass in the eleventh year, in the third month, the first day of the month, that the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, speak unto Pharaoh, the king, king of Egypt, and to his multitude, whom thou art, whom art thou like in thy greatness? Right? The king of Egypt is Esau, right? Which is the old serpent, like it says in the book of Revelation, right? Which is the wicked, right? His multitude is what? The nations, right? The great whore in the book of Revelation sat upon the waters, right? Because Esau was, was given a certain uh, dominion, right? Through his sword, like Cain, right? Uh, he was given, right, uh, like the serpent. Serpent had certain knowledge, right? Uh, Ezekiel 31 to 3. Behold, the Assyrian was a cedar, a cedar in Lebanon with fair branches with a shattering shroud, right? So when you look down upon somebody, you're, you're as a shadow upon them, right? And of a high stature. And his top was among the thick bows, right? This is the, keep in mind, this goes back and forth uh, between time, the Garden of Eden, right? Uh, and Esau in his present time, right? And his top was among the thick bows. The waters made him great. The deep set him up on high with the rivers running round about his plants, Right? And sent out her little rivers to all the trees of the field. Right? Because this is what Esau does. He gathers the people. Right? He makes them come on one accord. Right? By mingling what sin. Right? Deception. Right? In order to fulfill his purpose. Right? He's the master manipulator in, upon the, in the earth. But now it just so happens to be that the nations are waking up. Right? Because this is part of of the, the understanding going out which is given unto us right that tree of life right but as that tree of life is flowing and through the earth right the nations are okay they're hearing what we're saying right and they're realizing okay well this goddamn devil uh, uh has been using us right although they they knew that to a certain extent right the nations always had right a mind Right to come up against Esau because at the end of the day Esau has uh, uh, trespassed, right in more ways than one, right. Just to keep it short.
So it says, Ezekiel 31 and 4, the waters made him great. The deep set him up, set him up on high with the rivers running round about his plants. So Esau gathers the nations. He gathers their philosophies, right? This is what happened in the Tower of Babel, right? Which is why the Lord scattered them, right? Because it wasn't that time, right? Or whatever the case may be, the Lord may have just said, okay, I'm going to give them a taste, right? And and of, of, of what this thing is like, they're going to want to do it again, right? Kind of like, you know, that's that's just how the Lord works. He can, he can do whatever he wants, right? So it says, Ezekiel 31 and 5, Therefore his height was exalted above all the trees of the field, and his bows were multiplied and his branches became long because of the multitude of waters when he shot forth. Right? Again, right? Book of Revelation, the, the great horse sitteth upon many waters, the many waters are the nations. Right? Verse 6, all the fowls of heaven made their nest in his bows and under his branches that all the beasts of the field bring forth their young. Right? Because the nations prospered under Esau. And they still do unto this very day. Right? But they don't know as a bird going into the snare Esau had. Uh, Esau is deeper than you think. He may look stupid, right? But this this dude is a is a Esau is a whole demon, right? And he was given uh, a, a particular insight, right? So it says, and under his branches that all the beasts of the field bring forth their young. And under his shadow dwelt all great nations. Right? Just like the serpent. There's a reason, right? Wickedness was increased. Adam, Eve, Adam was given the way to righteousness. Right? He was cast down. The nation of Israel was cast down. There was always enmity between the righteous and the wicked. Right? You have the righteous and the wicked in the earth. But in the heavens, it's different. You have just the angels of the Lord working on the left hand and on the right. You have to learn to distinguish these things, right? But you have, right, angels on the earth, which are the Israelites, right? We're angels stuck in human bodies, right? The book of Revelation says, the angel said unto John that, that I am thy fellow uh, servant, right? So we are, right, the seed of the, seed of the, of the righteous, as a whole, uh, uh, we we went off, right? Not all of us, because the Lord preserved, right? Noah was righteous before the Lord, right? Uh, Abraham, right? He did not commit any iniquity, right? The scriptures say he obeyed all the commandments of the Lord. He feared Yahweh by Shimei Shai, right? But you had, right? Uh, you had to have us eventually go off like Adam did, right? The only ones are gonna re that are going to return are the elect, which is 144,000, the first fruits, right? The for uh, uh, um, those that were there in the in the creation. And then you have the great multitude. These are those that are going to be saved, right? Now we are the, the Israelites, which is the seed of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, were all the righteous, right? These other nations are wicked. But two thirds of our people went off. They gotta be destroyed. They're gonna be brought back. There's a reason why the Lord said that all the seed of Israel will be justified. Right? Because in the foundation of the world, right, all righteous spirits, right, are those of the Israelites. Right, so they're going to be saved, but they got to be destroyed in the in this time. Right, so when I say first fruits, right, you you think about right uh, the first fruits of creation, right, and then there were spirits, right, of righteous men, right, or right, whatever the case may be, they could have been, right, they could have came after for after the first fruits. Right? We speak what we know, we don't speak what we don't know, or what's not written. Right? So it could have been the 144,000, 
right? And the rest of the righteous spirits came after that because there's an order to everything. But again, we can only speak what was written, right? Everything else is too high for our knowledge, for our uh, understanding, right? But all the nation of Israel will be justified, right? Which shows that we are the righteous, right? But the Lord has to corrupt two-thirds of our people, right? Which brings me back to what? The second coming, right? So what, how is the second coming going to happen, right? Uh, um, you can have some of Israel uh, be to be uh, 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 put to death for the truth. You're going to have some that are going to be put to death before that. They're going to come back in the chariots, and as they're returning with the host of heaven, the Lord, in order to perform his his, uh, uh, his great wonders, right? And this is just, I'm speaking as a man because this is not written, right? They're going to be transported out of the host of the, of, the, of the chariots, and their body is going to descend up. The Lord is going to uh, throw that spirit back in that body, and they're all going to ascend. You're just going to see... Uh, tons of uh, elect spirits brought up, the dead, and the, the elect that, su that survived Jacob's trouble, right? But two-thirds got to be destroyed, right? So this is how this the, this works, right? This, the, the Spirit of the Lord, right? Uh, his ways, right, are higher than ours, right? So there's certain things we can't really speculate. Like, we know who Yahawashai was. We know his inc various incarnations in the earth. Right? And then we hear about Satan tempting Yahawashai. Right? Was it a particular person? Maybe, maybe not. Did he? Was he incarnated on the earth? Probably not. Because there's no account on that. Right? So we speak uh, uh, what we know. Right? Simple as that. Right? So, uh... Ezekiel 31 and 5, right? So the point is, right, concerning the spirits of the righteous, right? You can even think about, you can even think about Salaki, uh, the book of Second Ezra, right? When the scriptures say that, right, a woman can only bring forth, right, certain um, children at, at one time, right? So you have the 144,000, I mean, the other righteous spirits, could have came after that in the form of angels or in the form of men sent into the earth, right? The Lord, only the Lord knows, right? <laughs> but this is Ezekiel 31 and 6, right? And it says, or th Ezekiel 31 and 7, Thus he was he fair in the greatness and the length of his branches, for his root was by great waters, right? And that brings me back to the Garden of Eden. Did not Esau take, right? Is he not in Jerusalem right now, right? The the, Elam, the uh, Elamites, right? You got uh, uh, Ishmaelites, you got all kinds of nations down there. A mingled people, but you got the Amalekites, which have control of the main uh, hubs, right? Just like the serpent, right? Adam and Eve were cast out, and he was given, right, uh, a particular dominion. Cain was a tiller of the soil because he was given a particular dominion, right? Um, uh, like I said, you know, we, we can only speculate. Was he of the line of, of, of the serpent? No. Was that spirit there? Right? What how much time passed, right? Uh between the serpent and Cain, right? We speak what we know, right? But this is really about the nation of Israel, the sons of God, right? It's not about the other nations, it's not about Esau, right? But he was made uh, uh fair in his greatness, in the length of his branches, right? Meaning those that he had under him, the spirits that were brought forth right, to serve, right, his purpose, right, Ezekiel 31 and 8, 
the cedars and, and the garden of God could not hide him. The fir trees were not like his bows, and the chestnut trees were not like his branches, nor any tree in the garden of God was like unto him in his beauty. Right, so the serpent was called the serpent because, right, he was given, right, uh, knowledge on the left hand side. Right, Cain was given the dominion because it was a representation of Esau coming back on the earth, given a weapon, a tiller of the soil. Right, Abel, Abel, like us, which we are the righteous, right, Lord willing, and for that number, right, we speak by faith, right, was a keeper of sheep, right, a simple man like Jacob that dwelt in tents, right. Yaiquab, right? Ezekiel uh, 31 and 9. I have made him fair by the multitude of his branches, so that all the trees of, of Eden that were in the garden of God envied him. Right? The serpent, right? Uh, uh, Esau, right? Therefore, thus saith the Lord God, because thou hast lifted up thy height in thy sight, and hast shot up his top among the thick, thick bows, and his heart lifted up in his height. Um, I have therefore delivered him into the hand of the mighty one of the heathen. You shall surely deal with him. I have driven him out for his wickedness. Right? So Cain was driven out, right? Esau was driven out, right? In the dark ages, right? And he, and he returned, right? Um, Ezekiel 31 and 12. And strangers, the terrible of the nations, have cut him off, and have left him upon the mountains, and in all the valleys his branches are fallen. Salakia, and his bows are broken by all the rivers of the land, and all the people of the earth are gone down from his shadow and have left him. Right? This is what's happening, right? You got a spirit of rebellion in the earth, right? They're not actually uh, going to cut him off, right? Although they they did as a whole, right? When he was a. Uh, uh, um, uh, before the renaissance era before he rose back in power right but this is happening again scripture says in the book of job that uh the the the, the um the um the workmen will rise up against him right surely paraphrasing right i'm not going to go into all that right um it says the hand of the wicked will be upon him Right, that word for wicked is a meaning laborer, right? So it says, and all the people of the earth are go gone down from his shadow and left him. So this is what's happening, right? Lucifer, Isaiah chapter 14, which is a man, right? Which is controlled, right, by one of the angels of the Lord, right? To do, to push wickedness in the earth. Right, so Esau, as Esau's light is decreasing, right, this knowledge is increasing, right, and the end is being made manifest. Ezekiel 31 and 13, upon his ruin shall all the fowls of the heaven remain, and all the beasts of the field shall be upon his branches. To the end that none of all the trees of the waters exalt themselves from their height, right, because Israel is going to rule. Right, when he falls, right, the heathen are going to remain, right? And and all the heathens, which are beasts, shall be upon his branches, right? Now, there's a little bit of hidden matter, but, right, when Esau gets done away with, right, there's going to be no Esau, no nation of Esau. They're not going to be remembered. But there's an illusion that the Lord will not destroy that spirit, but he's going to send him within the other nations, He's going to come out out of the loins of those nations, right? And he's going to be the lowest of the low, right? Thus, the prophecy of the uh, uh, of the serpent being um, 
be fulfilled, right? Which essentially what? He's going to eat the dust. He's going to be on his belly all the days of his life. Because he's already been exalted. Right? He already pushed that wick. He already um, pushed his wickedness. Right? But he's going to be perpetually, right, treaded upon. Right? Which is the ultimate uh, curse. Right? Esau, right, may think, oh, well. And this is probably what he's thinking. Okay, well. You know, I'm going to be done away with, so I'm going to pollute the earth. I'm doing this and doing that, right? Because I'm going to be dis uh, 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 dis extinct anyways. Which he might be. I mean, we, 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 we can only speculate, right? So the scriptures say that we prophesy in part, we know in part, right? So he could be just uh, uh, burnt up and then the Lord can just destroy that spirit, Right? Or he could be sent back into the into the nations, right? Again, we prophesy in part, we know in part, right? Ezekiel 31 and 14, to the end, which is why it says, Upon his ruin shall all the fowls of heaven remain, right? And all the beasts of the field shall be upon his branches, right? So that, that could be an allusion to Esau, right? Being just brought back within these other heathen nations, which will be under Israel, right? And they're going to be under the other nations. The other nations will be over him, which they're going to come back as as these various other nations, right? It's not going to be an Edomite. They're going to come back, right? Again, speaking as a man, you know, as a Moabite, as, right, Elamite, these other nations, right? But they're going to be the lowest of the low. This is how, this is how you know, right? It's going to be maybe like a, a new proverb, right? They're going to call them, um, right? They're not going to call him Esau because all that's going to be forgotten, right? Or not, right? But they're just going to be called l the lowest of the low, right? Ezekiel 31 and 14, to the end that none of all the trees of the waters exalt themselves for their height, neither shoot up their top among the thick boughs. Right, so the the nations, the other nations are going to be right subjugated. Neither shall the trees stand up in their height. All that drink water, for they are all delivered unto death. Right, so the nations have to fall as well with Esau. Right, upon his ruin, the fowls of the heaven will remain, meaning the nations will be preserved. Right. Uh, but they will all be delivered unto death and inside, right? For the most part, right? There's going to be some that will remain in order to be put into captivity. To the nether parts of the earth, in the midst of the children of men, which them that go down in the pit. That's a cut right there, right? That's the children of men. It's talking about the other nations. Thus saith the Lord of God, right? So when you meditate on the word, you know it's, right? These certain terminologies. Ezekiel 31 and 15, thus saith the Lord God in a day when he went down to the grave, I caused a mourning, right? Book of Revelation says that the nations mourned when they saw the fall of Babylon, right? So they're going to actually mourn when they see Babylon be destroyed, but it's talking about the other nations knowing that, okay, the Israelites waking up, Esau, okay, he's, com he's coming hard, right? Uh, that, you know, our time, you know, it's... It, it, Things are changing, right? And the Lord is making that change, right? I covered the deep for him, and I restrained the floods thereof, right? Because ultimately, Esau is against the, the uh, remnant. The other nations are against the remnant. But the, would the scriptures say what? When the Lord causes the flood, uh, when they come in as a flood, the Lord will lift the standard up against them, Right? Second Ezra chapter four says what that the uh, the uh, the waters attempted to uh, t uh, to flood the trees or something to that extent, which the trees represented the nation of Israel. The waters were the nations, right? But the Lord is going to stop stop that from happening, right? And it says, and I caused Lebanon to mourn for him, and all the trees of the field fainted for him. Right, so when they see uh, the Karagma World War Three, right, a, a great fire, the 
the Lord will send the chariots right the angels returning right uh, uh, with the host of heaven right they're gonna faint right men's hearts failing right and so on and so forth Ezekiel 31 and 16 I made the nations to shake at the sound of his fall right that is the destruction when I cast him down to hell with them that descend to the pit, and all the trees of Eden, the choice, and the best of Lebanon, all the drink waters shall be comforted in the nether parts of the earth, right? But first, right, all the trees of Eden are the nations, like the waters, that they got to be destroyed, right? So the Lord is not playing. The Lord is bringing uh, death, fire, war, uh, famine. Right, this is not a joke. Right, this is this is uh serious. Right, these words are real. Right, and the Lord is gonna make it happen. Right, so it says, All the drink water shall be comforted in the nether parts of the earth. They also went down into hell with him, to them that be slain with the sword. And they that were under his arm, that dwelt under his shadow in the midst of the heathen. To whom art, art thou thus, like in the glory and the greatness in, among the trees of Eden? Right? That shows us talking about that same uh, uh, person, right? The serpent uh, uh, and the woman, right? Which represents, right? Uh, uh, Jacob, Esau, Cain, Abel. Yet thou shalt be brought down with the trees of Eden unto the nether parts of the earth, right? The trees of Eden are the nations. Thou shalt lie in the midst of the uncircumcised with them that be slain by the sword. This is Pharaoh and all his multitude, saith the Lord God. Ezekiel uh, 28 and 1. The word of the Lord came unto me again, saying, Son of man, say unto the prince of Tyrus. Thus saith the Lord God, because thy heart lifted up, is lifted up, and thou hast said, I am a God. I sit in the seat of God in the midst of the seas. Right? Esau sits in the midst of the seas. The serpent was exalted after Adam was cast out of the garden. Wickedness was increased. Right before the flood by a particular uh, seed. Right. Eve was not called the seed, but that was a that was an uh, allegory. The Lord spoke in an allegory. Right. Who says, yet thou art a man and not God. Thou shalt set thy heart as the heart of God. Right. Which is through right Esau, right? These other nations. Right, their heart is 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 they're exalted. Book of Jeremiah says that what they they right they praise themselves, they give gifts into each other, right? But all that is is gonna be um it's gonna be done away with, right? Ezekiel twenty eight and four, with thy wisdom, with thine understanding, thou hast gotten thee riches, thou hast gotten gold and silver into thy treasures, right? That's through Esau's sword, his technology, right? The wisdom that he has been given, right? And you, you other nations, right? You, right? You were, you have, you had, you really, you have zero power, right? Because Esau has that power, right? We have, right? Nothing, right? But we, you know. Really, we're living. Uh, this is a, this is by faith, right? That we we believe the Lord is going to deliver a remnant, right? Um, Ezekiel twenty-eight and five. By thy great wisdom and thy traffic, has thou increased thy riches? Thy heart list is lifted up because of thy riches. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God, because thou hast set thy heart as the heart of God. Behold, therefore, I will bring strangers upon thee, the terrible of the nations, and they shall draw their swords against the beauty of thy wisdom, and shall defile thy brightness. Right? 
Same thing you read in Ezekiel uh, chapter 31, right? Um, which is, uh, let's get that real quick. It says, um, Right, verse 8, the cedars in the garden of God could not hide him. The fir trees were not like his bows, right? So Esau was given, um, right, uh, technology, the sword, uh, uh, um, particular insight, right? And even till today, I mean, you know, the other nations, they're not, they're not really, you know, they, they know, they know they're not like Esau. Right. Um, Right, so it says, verse 18, to whom art thou, Ezekiel 31 and 18, to whom art thou like thus, like in glory and greatness among the trees of Eden? Yet thou shalt be brought down with the trees of Eden. Right, so this is why Yahweh Shai said I came uh, to bring the sword, division, right? So it says, Ezekiel 28 and 7, Behold, therefore, I will bring strangers upon thee, the terrible of the nations. They shall draw their swords against the beauty of thy wisdom. They shall defy thy, defy thy brightness. They shall bring thee down to the pit. Thou shalt die the deaths of them that are slain in the midst of the seas. Right? So through division, right, there's going to be war. Through war, there's going to be a hastening of the times. Esau knowing that he has a short time what, to fulfill his... Uh, uh, um, uh, his uh, digital uh, karagma, right? They shall bring thee down to the pit, thou shalt die the deaths of them that are slain in the midst of the seas. What thou yet say before him that slayeth thee, I am God. Thou shalt be a man and no God in the hand of him that slayeth thee. Right? So all uh, you other nations talking shit, right? Esau, right? At the end of the day, you know, you're gonna you're gonna eat your words. Right? Ezekiel 28 and, and 10. Thou shalt die the deaths of the, the uncircumcised by the hand of strangers, for I have spoken it. Right? Meaning by each other. Right? By the missiles. By the chariots. Right? By these very various devices that are in the world today. Right? Son of man, take up a lamentation upon it, the king of Tyrus and say unto him, Thus saith the Lord God, Thou seal, scale it, sealest up the sum, full of wisdom and perfect, perfect in beauty. Right? Because Esau, he has access to certain archaeological finds. Right? He searches every single thing out. He plans everything years and years and years and years ahead. Right? The Illuminati, 1776. Esau knew the nations were rebel. Right? This is not, a retard can understand that. Right. If if you've watched Esau, right, you know, throughout time he knew, right. Okay, that eventually this is coming. Okay, I have to move in this direction. Right, I have to create fiat currency. I have to create division. Right, because the Lord put it put that in his mind. Right. So it says. 
Thou sealest up the sum for the wisdom and perfect in beauty, right? Because he searches out all things. He has the technology. He, ha he has the arms. He has the power, right? The technology, right? The uh, rulership, right? Thou hast been in, the, in Eden, the garden of God. Every precious stone was thy covering, right? Because he saw... Really, he, he has every every uh, um, resource. If he really wants it, he's, he's he can go and get it because he has the sword, right? Every precious stone was thy covering: the sardis, topaz, the diamond, the barrel, the onyx, the jasper, the sapphire, the emerald, the carbuncle, the gold, the workmanship of thy tablets and of thy pipes were prepared in thee. In the day that thou was created. Right? So this goes back to Eden as well. Because the wicked were always there. Right? Whether there was an Edomite. Whether there was a, a, a son of a Cain. Whether Cain was there or not. The wicked was always there. Right? Just to make that clear. Right? Which was a serpent. Thou art the anointed cherub. That covereth, and I have set thee so. What did he cover? Right? What does it say in Genesis chapter 3? Right? That the cherubs uh, covered the tree of life. Right? Now, were there actual cherubs? Maybe. Right? Maybe. Most likely. Right? But this is expounding on what you read in Genesis chapter 3. Right? Because Esau has certain understanding. Right? He knows, he knows his destruction is coming, right? He knows he has a short time, right? What is he covering? He's covering the truth, right? Esau has, even in the Vatican, you have certain books that are kept away, that are, right? Libraries burnt up, ancient uh, uh, sayings lost forever, but Esau has it somewhere in, in his, uh, uh, right? Uh, somewhere sealed up just like the truth he has sealed up the truth for so long these other nations are are right you have Moabites calling themselves Chinese you have these other nations right thinking they're they're one particular nation right you have uh, um, right Elam right calling themselves uh, uh, all kind of bywords right just a whole bunch of confusion Right? So that tree of life, right, in the garden represented the whole counsel of the Lord. Right? And this, not not that I'm saying this is the same as that as what you read in chapter 3, Genesis chapter 3. But this speaks about Esau, right? Like it says in the book of Revelation, deceiveth the nations. Right? What is he covering? Right? Truth. Understanding. Right? Uh, 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 the, the, the identity of the nations. This is what we're uncovering. You see, we're doing the opposite of what Esau is doing. So it says, Ezekiel 28 and 14, I have said thee so, that was upon the holy mountain of God, that has walked up and down in the midst of the stones of fire. Right? Just like, uh, um, right, uh, the spiritual demon Satan, walking up and down upon the earth, right? That is a, a spirit in the unknown, unknown realm pushing Esau, right, to to uh, uh, commit his wickedness up and down upon the earth. Ezekiel 28 and 15, thou was perfect in thy ways from the day that thou was created to iniquity was found in thee. Right? So Esau was made a perfect devil, Right? But he was iniquity was found in him because he, he kept that perpetual hatred. Right? He, 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 right? Esau, right? He has done a lot, a lot of bad shit. Right? And he's getting away with it. Right? Uh, because he, he can, he can do it. Right? Um, Ezekiel 28 and 16. By the multitude of thy merchandise, thou hast filled the midst of thee with violence. Thou hast sinned, therefore I will cast thee as profane out of the mountain of God. 
and I will destroy thee, O covering cherub, from the midst of the stones of fire. Right? The mountain of God was what? The Garden of Eden, Jerusalem. It's the same thing. Right? He's he occupied the Garden. He occupied Jerusalem. He's going to be cast out. Right? Ezekiel 28 and 17. Thine heart was lifted up because of thy beauty. Thou hast corrupted thy wisdom by the reason of thy brightness. I will cast thee down to the ground, and I will lay thee before kings, that they may behold thee. Right, so I'm just going to finish the rest of uh, this part right here. Ezekiel 28 and 18. Thou hast defiled the sanctuaries by the multitude of thy iniquities, by the iniquity of the traffic thy traffic therefore will I bring forth a fire from the midst of thee it shall devour, devour thee right because Gog and Magog is ultimately right gonna uh, everyone that is in in, in um, Jerusalem right you uh, mamzers you 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 um, sewer rats right you you're gonna be melted off of that land right says I will bring thee to ashes upon the earth in the sight of all them that behold thee all they that know thee among the people should be astonished at thee thou shalt be a terror and thou shalt never thou be any more right it's talking about um, Babylon right it's talking about Jerusalem right which the heathen are in control now Right, so Genesis chapter 4 and um, verse 3. And it came to pass at the end of days, and he, and he brought in Cain from the fruits of the, of the uh, ground for an offering unto the Lord. Why Yahya, Makwa Taza, Yamayim, Wayaba'a. Quayan Maparia Ha Adama Manacha La Yahawa. Manacha is an offering. Right? Ma Quataza, Ma meaning from, Quataza meaning from the end of a thing, time or, or, or day. Genesis chapter 4 and verse 4. And Abel brought in even he of the first of his flocks um, and of the fat and of their fat. And he accepted the Lord um, to uh, Abel and to his offering, right? Wa Chabal Chabaya Habaya Gam Hawa. Ma Bakarath, Taza Anwa, Wama Khalabhan, Wa Yeshai, Yahawu, Al Khabal, Wa Al Machanathwa. Right? Khalab meaning fat, Bakar meaning firstborn, right? Let's look at that word, uh, Shaya. Genesis chapter 4 and verse 4. Right, so the scriptures, I mean, they're deep, but really they're not that deep. You know, because the wicked are, you know, if you're wicked, you're going to, you're going to, right, um, reap what you sow. If you're righteous, then you're going to reap what you sow. But you other nations are not righteous. You have no, you have no part in this thing. Esau was just made to be a, a demon, right? 
but like in the Garden of Eden, he's a he's the most subtle demon. Like you can't even, right? You just you you can't even t detect him, right? And uh, you know, we Israel, we're the righteous, right? Because we're not like these 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 other uh, uh, devils, right? So let's look at that word for Shaya, Strong's H eighty one fifty nine. Shaya, right? To gaze, right? Behold. To look, to look around, to look upon, to look at, to regard. regard to have respect spare turn let's look up the word let's look up uh, the word for rejoice Strong's H 7797. Shawash, Shayash, to rejoice, to be glad, to exalt, to rejoice. The Arabic says, Shai, 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 an enticing call. be bright cheerful make mirth to be glad rejoice right so essentially it just says right uh, to regard right um, let's actually see if we can get some precepts for that Shaya Says to respect, to look at, to look at, right. So Shaya to look around. Right? Basically to regard, right? To rejoice. Um Genesis chapter four and verse five. And to Cain and to his offering he did not regard. And he waxed hot, Cain, exceedingly, and he fell upon his face. Wa'al Kwayan, Wa'al Manachatwa, La'a Shaya, Wa'yechor La Kwayan, Ma'ad Wa'yepalwa, Panyawa. Genesis chapter 4 and verse 5. 
Genesis 4 and 6, And he said the Lord unto Cain, To what have you waxen hot, you, even you? And to what has fallen, and to what has your face fallen? Why ye amar Yahweh al Quayam, Lama Chora Laka, Wa Lama Napalwa Panyaka. If not, if you do good, shall thou not be lifted up? And if you do not, you do not good. Uh, will be open sin unto thee, and thou shalt dwell in it. Right? Because that word rabataza meaning to crouch, right? Or as in to, uh, uh, or to dwell, right? So it says, Kala I'm Tayatayab Sha'ath, Wa I'm La'a Tayatayab La Pathach Chata'ath Rabataza. And unto thee you shall pursue it. And you, right, will assimilate in it, right? Mashal means to rule or to assimilate, right? Ali wa al yaka, ta shawak, shawak, tawa, wa atha, ta mashal bawa, right? So uh, the wicked, mainly Esau. Right, perpetually, right, uh, uh, is is in sin, right, because he was made to be the wicked, right. Genesis chapter four and verse eight, and he said, Cain unto Abel his brother, Right, so that's kind of like a um, right a pretext. Right, he may have right after that that the the previous verse, you know, it could have been a uh, an exchange. Right, he maybe said some vulgar things, which wasn't really necessarily important to record. Waya Amar Kwayan Al Khabal Right, and then it continues. And it came to pass, upon which they were in the field, Wa Yahaya, Bahaya Watham, Bashada. And he rose up Cain unto Abel, his brother, and he smote to kill him. Wa Yaquam Kwayan, Al Khabal Ahiwa, Wa Yaharagwa. And he said the Lord unto Cain, Where is Abel your brother? And he said, I do not know. Um, a keeper, am I a keeper unto my brother? Why Amar Yahweh al Kwayan Ayah Chabal Achyaka Why Amar La Yadayathya Hashamar Achia Anakia, because the word Aya meaning where, right? Salakia. Genesis chapter 4 and verse 10. And he said, What have you done? The voice of the blood of your brother. Cry that unto me from the ground. Why ye amar ma ashayath qual damya achyaka tazaakim alya man ha adama? And now cursed shalt thou be from the earth, which hath opened. To its mouth to take to the blood of your brother from your hand. Wa Atha Arar Atha Manha Adama Ashar Patazath Patazatha Atha Paya Lakwahath 
Ta damia akhir ka madia ka Because if you till to the land it shall not add um unto thee its strength it shall not add its strength unto thee Salakia, it shall not add unto thee its strength. You shall be a um, wanderer and a vagabond upon the earth. Kaya tha aibad, atha ha adama, laa tha sap, tha sap tha, kaha laka, naya. Wanad the higher ba rataza. The word ka can mean strength. Let's look at those, um, right, uh, Nawai, right, which is a uh, wanderer. Genesis chapter 4 and verse 12. Strong's H fifty one twenty eight. Now why to move to and fro, to facilitate, to quiver, to wave, to tremble, to totter. Vagabond, to wander up and down. Wild Strong's Age fifty one ten to be moved to be agitated, right? To wander to be a fugitive, right? To move to and fro, which is a vagabond, right? So Nawai is a wanderer, Nawad is a vagabond. Genesis chapter 4 and 13. Right? So verse 12, I mean, it's actually talking about the soil, right? But you see that happened with Adam as well, right? Out of the out of his sweat, right, he, he would have to uh, till the earth. But with Cain, right, this is talking about the soil as well. Right, but when it says shall not yield its strength unto you, right? Because what did Esau try to do, right? When um um when Isaac right told Jacob not to take wife of the Canaanites, right? What did Esau do? He took a wife of the Canaanites, he took a wife of the Ishmaelites, right? Because he didn't have that melanin, right? Which is Cain was had that melanin taken from him. Right? So no matter what Esau does, whether he marries into these other nations, take women's of the other nations, right? He's not going to have that same uh, vitality, right? He's always, always going to be afflicted with what? Um, um, disease, right? Deficiencies, right? Genesis chapter 4 and 13. And he said, Cain unto the Lord, Great is my iniquity to bear. Waya Amar, Kwayan, Al Yahawa, Gadal, Iwanya, Man Nasha'a. Genesis chapter 4 and 13. Behold, 
you have thrust me to stay from upon the face of the earth or the ground right and that's parabolic for right the bark of cain right poetic poetically speaking for the fact that he got his melanin taken away right because adam was already banished from the garden right but this is a different type of banishment right So it says, Hanag Rashath Athia Hayawam Maal Panya Ha Adama. And from your face I will hide, and I will be a wanderer and a vagabond upon the earth. And it will come to pass, all that find me will smite to kill me. Wama panyaka asathar wa haya yatayu naya wad wad wanad ba rataza wahaya kol mataza ayu. Yaharagnaya. And he said unto him, The Lord, surely all that smite to kill Cain, seven times they will be avenged. Waya Amar la lawa Yahawa Lakan Lakan meaning surely. Call Harag Kwayan Shabayatium. Yaquam, right? Yaquam, the root is Naquam, right? It's also written as Yaquam, right? Ya meaning he, uh, Quam meaning to avenge, right? So don't get that mixed with uh, Quam, meaning to rise up, which when you read Quam, it would actually be the Qua, the Wa, and the Ma, right? So it says, he placed the Lord unto Cain a sign, right? So, um, so that they would not smite to kill him, all that find him. It says, "Why Yisham Yahweh la Kwayan Awath la Balathia Hakath Athawa Kal Matazaawa." Genesis 4 and 16. And he went out Cain from before the Lord, and he dwelt in the land of Nod, from the east of Eden. Waya Taza'a Kwayan Malapanya Yahawo Wayashab Ba Rataza Nawad Kwamath Aidan. And he knew Cain to his wife, and she conceived and brought forth. To Enoch. Wayadai Kwayan Atha Shathwa Watahar Watalar Atha Hanak. And it came to pass, he built a city, and he called it to its name, to the name of the city, like the name of his son Enoch. Wayahaya Bana Ayar Wayakwara'a. Shum ha ayar kasham banwa hanak. And he brought forth uh, Enoch to Irad. Irad brought forth to Mehujael and Mehujael. Or Salak, yeah. Um, and to Methusael. So 
block it. I ride. I ride by fours. Now who's your ally? And um, Methusael brought forth to the hell. Amber fours, you know, I have two, I ride, and I ride by four of two. two. Oh. So it says, and Mehusael, and you, and um, I ride by four of two Mehusael, and Mehusael brought four of two Methusael, and Methusael brought four of two Lamech. Right? Why you lad la khanak atha I rad wa I rad or salaki wa I ya rad ya lad atha maha maha wa ya al wa maha ya ya al ya lad atha matha sha al wa matha sha al Yalad Atha Lamak. Genesis chapter 4 and 19. And he took unto him Lamech to two wives. The name of the first was Ida, and the name of the second was uh, Zalah. Wayakwach Lawa Lamak. Shathia Nashayim Sham Ha Achath Ida Washam Ha Shanyath Tazala and brought forth Ada unto Jabal. He was the father of those that dwelt in tents and herds. Wathalad Ida Atha Yabal Hawa Haya Abaya Yashab Achal Wa Makwana. And the name of his brother was Jubal. He was the father of all. Um, of all that took hold of the lyre and the harp. Washam Achiawa Yawabal Hawa Haya Abiya Kal Thapash Kanawar Wa Iwagab. The word Thapash means to take hold, Kanawar meaning a liar. Uh, Iwagab meaning a pipe. Right, which is a modern day uh, organ. Kanawar is like a uh, harp. Genesis chapter 4 and uh, 22. Actually, let's look at that real quick. So Strong's H thirty six fifty eight the harp. Strong's H fifty seven forty eight, I the the organ. Genesis chapter four and twenty two. See how many more verses you got left. All right. And Zilla. Even she brought forth unto to Baal Cain, uh, which was the for forger um, of all artifice of brass and iron 
and the sister of Tubal Cain was Naama. Wa Tazala Gam Hawa Yalada Ata Tawabal Kwayan Latash Kal Harash Nakashath Wa Barazal Wa Akwath Tawabal Kwayan Nayama. So let's look at that word Latash, right, which means uh, to forge. Says instructor, but that's not what it's talking about. Says to hammer, to forge, latash, to sharpen by hammering, to sharpen to wet. The Arabic says latas, to strike. Syriac says latash, to sharpen. Salakia. To sharpen, to wet, right? To forge, essentially. So Quarash is an artificer, right? Genesis chapter 4 and 23. He said Lamech to his wives, um, Aida and Zala, hear you to my voice, wives of Lamech. Give ear to my saying, because a man I have smoked to kill, um, which I have wounded. Or uh, I have man I have smoked to kill for wounding me, and a lad, which is my fellow. Waya Amar Lamak La Nashiawa Aida Watazala Shamayan Kwalia Nashia Lamak Ha Azana Amarathia Kaya Ayash Hagarathia La Patazaya Waya La Habarathia Right Basically, this goddamn uh, demon was um, bragging about killing a man who had wounded him and um, killing a young man of his people, right? That's how you know these devils are, are wicked, right? Genesis chapter 4, verse 24. Because seven times he will, will be avenged Cain and Lamech 70 times and seven. Right? Goddamn devil. Kaya Shabayathium Yaquam Kwayan Wa Lamech Shabayim Wa Shabaya. Genesis chapter 4 and 25. And he knew Adam again to his wife, and she brought forth a son and called to his name Seth. Because he is placed unto, placed unto me, uh, um, the gods, a seed after, after the place of Abel. Because he was uh, smitten and killed by Cain. Wayadai Adam Iwad Atha Ashathwa Wathalad Ban Watha Kwara'a Atha Shamwa Shath Kaya Shath Laya Alahayim Zarai Akhar Thachath Chabal 
Kaya Haragwa Kwaya. Right, so again, when it says Allahayim, just talk, it's talking about the angels, which are the, uh, controlled by the Lord. So let's see. So that word Seth, right? You have variations of uh, that word Seth. Shath, meaning to place, or Shayath, right? <clears throat> Genesis chapter 4 and 26. And unto Seth, even he brought forth a son. He called to his name Enos. Enosh uh, then began to call in the name of the Lord. Walashath, Gam Hawa, Yalad, Ban. Wayakwara Ata Shamwa Anawash Az Chahal La Kwara Basham Yahawa. So that word um Enosh means uh Anawash means to be weakened. Right? Because as time passed by, right? Um, wickedness increased righteousness was was um, was was uh, rare right and men were also weakened right because right as time passed right the vitality of men uh, the years of their age uh, grew less and less right or decreased right it's just signifying right the decrease of mankind in general right not just morally, but physically, right? So with that, this brother Yatazadak, Yeru Israel, it's Genesis chapter 4, going into the Hebrew. So Lord willing, you are edified, and as always, giving all honor and glory to Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Kakwadash, double honors to all those apostles of Great Millstone, Kwame Asha'Allah, Abad Pabal, and Shalom.